What is up everybody? Welcome to another Python tutorial. This tutorial is going to be a twofer. So you're going to get not only how to search Google the quote-unquote easy way, but also coverage of the JSON functionality within Python. So we've really only uh, dealt with JSON um, data structure one other time, and that was with the Twitter feed. And we just use simple splitting functions to do it. Uh, but there is this fancy-dancy JSON modules that we can use, so we're going to do that in this video uh, as well. So to start, um, we'll just show you guys an example here of the, uh, a, the API that Google offers for searching. So head over to your favorite internet browser, which I assume is Chrome. Otherwise, I don't know what you're doing in my channel. Uh, and cop well, I'll put the link in the or this link in the description. So copy and paste that in there, and you can put literally anything you want. You can put Python tutorials, and it's going to return to you uh, a JSON output of data for the uh, for Python tutorials as the search query. Now your browser does this encoding automatically for you. It depends really on whose API you're using. Uh, sometimes it it doesn't work and then other times you can just put anything in there and it just automatically encodes it. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to encode that data uh, but with this you, you don't have to. I, I have no idea. I, I would think that that is something like I'm not sure how as a web developer you could not have to have the, the people using URL encoding. So I, I don't know. I don't know enough about that stuff. But anyways, what I do know is the safest bet is to always use URL encoding. Uh, then you won't have to worry about it. So uh, with that, uh, to do URL encoding, you're going to need import URL lib. Not URL lib2, URL lib. Uh, along that note, if anybody knows how to do URL encoding with URL lib2, <laughs> Let me know. I have no idea. I've tried to look for it, and there like just seems to be no way to do it. So I always, if I use them both, I import URL lib and URL lib too. So if anybody knows, if any uh, fine gentleman or lady happens to know, please leave a comment below and let me know. I am genuinely curious. Next, we need uh, the JSON module as well. So we're going to import JSON. And now let's go ahead and get started. So with this, we can do uh, example uh, search. So we're going to search for something. I'm going to say uh, geographic sentiment analysis. And uh, then I'm going to say encoded equals URL lib quote example search. So if you don't know what that's going to do, uh, it basically adds percent %20 for every space. And then if you have like special characters, it'll also change them. So uh, let's just print encoded just so you guys can see what I'm yip yapping about. So that's the URL, uh, or at least that part encoded, right? Just added this percent twenties. But at the same time, if you did something like uh, like this, right, and we print out the URL encoding, uh, it fixes it, right? So in as you can see, even in this URL, right, the URL has a question mark and an ampersand to denote variables, right? And it's going to get those variables and use them. So if you have those things in your URL, um, you, you obviously need to encode them first uh, before you do it. So just keep that in mind. So while I said that actually, at least with this API, you don't have to encode, you could just slap this right in there. But if this was like, you know, um, how do I do this or something like that, um, and you didn't use URL encoding, you're going to find yourself uh, in trouble. So anyways, um, that's my, uh, my teaching for today. Video over. No. Um, so now what we want to do is uh, we don't need to print encode it anymore. Now we're going to say raw data. So this will be like that. Raw output is going to equal URL, uh, URL lib.url open. And we want to open up this link here, so I'm going to copy and paste it, and it's going to say query equals, I'm not sure why this equal sign is there, so I'm going to delete that. Query is going to equal uh, encoded, right? So we'll come over here, query equals, and then we do a plus enc oops, encoded, and then at the end of this we want to do a read. So I'd actually read, so the raw data is straight up just like the nasty text that you'll get 
<laughs> from there. So now we want to use the JSON uh, functionality. So now we're going to say JSON data equals uh, JSON load, and we're going to do raw data. So we'll load in the raw data. Now the way the JSON module is going to work is like an array or a list rather. I shouldn't say array. I always call them arrays. I'm sorry, guys. Now, so this is a list, and it's a it's a multi-dimensional list. At the first dimension, you have basically like this this right here, but it's actually this whole thing. And then you would say within there the response data dimension contains all of, oops, basically all of, I'm trying to find where the end of it would be, like right here, I suppose, well here. So that's response data. Then inside that, uh, you've got another list that's more easily recognizable with this uh, or, uh, bracket, and you've got another dimension. So it's a multi-dimensional list, right? So you treat it just like that. Even though it doesn't look like it to your eyeballs, that's what the JSON module is doing for you. So uh, for example, we would say the actual results. So let's say search results equals JSON data. And, oops, and what element in JSON data are we looking for? Well, we're looking for the element that calls itself response data. So literally the camel cased response data. So I just copied that, right? And I went, paste. So that is that first element. And now of that element, what element of response data are the search results within? Well, they're within results, right? So now we take, just like you would with an array, you add some more brackets or a list, sorry, <laughs> and you add results in there. So now you have, um, of the response data list, we want the, the results uh, information basically. So now um, you can see in here you've got all kinds of data here um, as far as uh, you know you've got you unescaped URL then you've got the straight up like URL um, and then you have uh, um, well I can't find it but okay <laughs> title uh, and then what the title is in this case here right um, and so really most of what we're going to be looking for, we're not going to pull out, like if you wanted to get like the meta description, right? That's usually what's underneath the link. If you wanted to pull that, um, you could, but for now we just maybe want to pull the actual title and then let's actually pull the URL that we would visit if we wanted to visit it. So to do that, um, once we've pulled, so those are the search results, right? Then what we would say is, is, is for, um, uh, each result, let's say ER, in search results, what do we want to do? Well, the title is ER, and then for that, you know, so it's like each little result in our search results of results, right? So each little block of results, right, that's within there, um, what do we want? And that's going to be, so each block, what do we care about in that block? So of that list that's that block of results, we want uh, title, and that will give us the title. And then link is going to be uh, er, and it was url. Um, so obviously title, and then I just I forgot to see. I'll just type in url. Uh, wow, there's a lot of url, but anyway, <laughs> there's url and, and so on. So um, so that's that. So now we've got title and link. So now let's just go ahead and print title, print link, and then we'll just uh, do some print, one, two, three, three lines, one, two, three, and we're all set. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna visit uh, and search for gra uh, geographical sentiment analysis. It's going to use the JSON to, or the JSON uh, functionality to read the JSON, go into that response data list, go into the results list, and then inside that results list, print out all the titles and URLs in order. So now let's save that and let's run that and see if we had any typos, and we didn't. So as you can see, um, geographical sentiment analysis by Centex, oh, who'd have thunk that was coming? Anyway, um, so you can see uh, the results. Now here's the downside. It only returns to you four 
results. And that is why, my friends, we have a searching Google the easy way, and we have a searching Google the hard way. Because <laughs> uh, for some people, four results is not enough. So uh, stay tuned for a searching Google the hard way tutorial. Otherwise, if this uh, fills all of your needs, uh, then congratulations. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, hopefully you guys learned something new. I taught you a couple new things hopefully here besides possibly the JSON module, I suppose. And again, if anybody happens to know how to encode URLs with URL lib2, uh, do be kind enough to let me know. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and the subscriptions. And until the next video.